um what's up youtube this is a video on my top five favorite roller coaster manufacturers um i don't really feel like doing an introduction so let's just get into it at number five we have vacoma now the thing with vacoma is um i haven't really okay i see potential i guess i haven't really been on that well, I haven't been on roller coasters by that many different manufacturers. But from what I can tell, Vacoma has like well, they're already like I can tell they're really good cuz all the rides over in Europe. And then uh like a couple weeks ago, I went to Dollywood. I got to experience Big Bear Mountain. I can tell that ride was like more intense. It was like glass smooth. So like Vacoma is smooth now. So it's really good. And um I really like Big Bear Mountain. Now the most intense Vacoma that I've ridden is probably Nighthawk at Carolines or Flying Cove at the Carolines. Well that's like the only like not family coaster Vacoma I've ridden. Well, besides like Disney's Vacoma, so they don't really count though. Well, they do, but, like, Nighthawk, honestly, is really underrated. Mainly because my first time riding it, it just shocked me. When I when I was laying on my back going up the lift hill and then flipping over 100-something feet in the air, just facing straight down, now laying on my stomach, I was on my back. It's just one of the best elements ever. Yes, um... Uh, if they made Nighthawk's layout as a new gym Vacoma, I mean, like, that would be glass smooth, really intense, really good roller coaster. But yeah, it's a Vacoma Flying Dutchman, and, well, technically, Nighthawk was the first one, because, well, we, Nighthawk was the prototype, because California's Great America, which was Paramount, some, it was a Paramount part. They moved it to Carowinds because I guess they were making room for a new coaster at California's Great America. Um, that was the original flying coaster. And so I rode the first flying coaster, I guess, and um, it's a little bit rough. My first time riding it, I thought it was pretty smooth. I thought it would be rougher than that. And then my second and third time, I didn't like it as much as I did the first time. But yeah, uh, here is a POV of Nighthawk. Alright, that's it for my haul. I know some of you guys might be wondering why I put a older Vacoma that most roller coaster enthusiasts like just absolutely hate. And like, well, since I haven't ridden all the uh, newer Vacomas, you might be wondering why I have Vacoma in fourth. It's be mainly because I see if more Vacomas came to America, it could be so good. Um, in number four on this list. I have, uh, okay, I changed my, but, no, I'm keeping my mind the same. Um, BNM, um, 
the reason I have B and M in fourth and why I kept on changing my mind is because the only B and M well I enjoyed all B and M's except for like stand ups and um uh, floorless coasters. Uh it's just because like Fury is so good. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I kind of just zoned out while I was making this video. It doesn't matter though. Um, I just really think B and M is they can do more than they have done. Cause like what they did to look, well, this is just such a good ride. I mean, I love that thing. And then they build stuff like Vortex at Carolyn's and like, bruh, yeah. They're getting more innovative with the surf coaster and all that, but like, Vortex is terrible. That's why I have them in fourth, because there's a lot of horrible rides that they've made, but there's also like, really good rides that they've made, like Fury and Orion, I don't know, I haven't written it, hopefully I get to write it this summer, I think I will, I'm not sure. But here's a POV of Fury 325. Okay, so, um, that ride is what puts them in fours. I guess I'm just showing, uh, each of my favorite roller coasters by each manufacturer. So, like, when it comes to, like, if I was gonna do Arrow, I haven't ridden too many Arrows, I'll put Tennessee Tornado at Dollywood. That, that's the POV. I put each manufacturer's best roller coaster, I guess. That doesn't really matter though. Okay, so let's just talk about Fury. Fury is like, it actually has ejector airtime. Like how many B&Ms can you think of that has ejector airtime? It's crazy. And then you get sideways airtime. It's super weird. Like on that treble coaster, you get sideways airtime. There's even a head chopper on the um, helix underneath the uh, the turn that's right after the drop. It's really good. I, lo I love Fury. It's so good. Okay, um, in number th three, we have Mock. So, I was thinking about B&M. They make some very bad roller coasters. Now, Mock, they have built some bad roller coasters, but not as much bad roller coasters as B&M. Like, Mock has built, like, like, the a uh, average mock ride now is probably like Copperhead Truck at Carowinds. Like, um, yeah, mock's just really good. Uh, and 
Copperhead Strikes launch, from looking at the launch itself, it looks like it accelerates really slow, but it feels forceful for some reason. Mach is pretty good. I like it. And especially, like, on Copperhead Strike, you get ejector airtime. Like, you get thrown. It's crazy. And, like, when you get on, like, bigger mocks, like mock hypers and stuff, I mean, those look absolutely amazing. So, yeah, that's why I'm, I have mock in, um, third. Um, uh, yeah. I'll show POV of Copperhead Strike at Carolina. Okay, um, honestly, it's, that ride is so underrated, in my opinion. Now, it does have some pacing issues, like, but it's, like, especially at the end of the ride, but it slows down when it needs to slow down so you can get hang time. Like, it's, that JoJo World at the beginning is awesome. And then, like, on the vertical loop, you're just, like, hanging there. It's crazy. And then on the uh, inverted top hat or stall, whatever you want to call it, so you're like hanging there at upside down. Feel like you're falling out at 80 something feet. It's, it's, that's like it's pretty scary. But it's not my home park, so I've gotten used to it. It's really, it's just a really good ride. It's best, like it has ejector airtime. There's not many rides at Carowinds with ejector airtime. The only two that I can think of. Is Fury and Copperhead Strike. I mean, Copperhead Strike, there's like four moments with insane ejector airtime. It's um the airtime hill right after the loop, which is like one of the strongest airtime moments I've ever been on. And then there's this like airtime hill right before the second launch. Not on the second launch, that's like slower airtime. And then um, the stangle light stangle dive that goes through a vertical loop i mean that just sends you flying and then the last part is there's this pop of air time right before the brakes and all those air time moments you're just flying and all my friends are like how do you like pain in your legs like he he was like that part of copyright strike hurts and like yeah they don't know what they don't understand air time they're general public it's fun though. Um, in second, I haven't ridden that many of this manufacturer's roller coasters, but the ones that I have ridden are awesome. I'm gonna try to ride some more eventually. I don't know when I'm gonna get to, but in number two, we have Intamin. Intamin is so good. Like, I've I've ridden two of the best Intamins. I haven't ridden a Velocicoaster. I really need to ride that. Or Pantheon. I haven't ridden a modern Intamin. That's the only problem. But I've ridden Maverick and Intimidator 305. And I will tell you that those rides are amazing. Like, oh my gosh. 
yeah, nothing else to say about it. Intimate is really good. I'm showing a POV of Maverick because it's my favorite Intimate that I've written. Uh, here's a POV. It's an ad right now, guys. One second. But, like, Maverick, it has two single guys that just send you flying laterally. And, um, Maverick has another one of the strongest airtime moments in America. And the launch lift hill is amazing. Just, I mean, the ejector airtime on this is crazy. Okay, that's it for Maverick, guys. Um, so again, these roller coasters are not all of their roller coasters. That's I'm just showing you one of pretty much each manufacturer's best roller coasters that I've ridden, and I'll tell you that um, these are just like samples, like one out of like hundreds of roller coasters that most of these manufacturers have built. But yeah, okay, uh, that's it for this video. Psych, you know who's the number one. Like, I shouldn't even have to say it for all of you roller coaster enthusiasts. Anybody that doesn't know, um, it starts with the R and ends with the MC. RMC is the best roller coaster manufacturer, in my opinion, and in most roller coaster enthusiasts' opinion. Like, I've only been in. Three RMCs right now. I'm gonna get four this summer with Steel Vengeance. But the ones that all of the RMCs I have written, they're all of them make up my top three right now. Like Iron Gwazi, Twisted Timbers, and Lightning Rod. They are awesome rides. Like, hold on. Let me just show you. Well, I'm just. The, I don't know. Yeah. But RMC. Like, Iron, Iron Gloss is my number one. Crazy roller coaster. But Twisted Tempers is tiny, but it is awesome. Like, those three air sun hills back to back, and one of them has, it's like, it does, one of the air sun hills is like back to back air time, because you go through the two air sun hills normal, and then you go up the third, you go like halfway down, and then it steps down, almost like a double down. And you're just flying. And I rode Twisted Tempers, like, four times over my visit to King's Dominion, and bro, my thighs were actually hurting, N not even gonna lie, and lightning rod, bro, my thighs were also hurting on that ride, like, especially on the, um, after the, uh, bro, what is it called, Iron Glossy has one that goes over the station, it's almost like a wave turn, but I don't think it's a wave turn, maybe it is though, I forgot, but oh my gosh, after that element, you're on this air time hill that's off axis. Bro, since it's like, since you're going like this, my right thigh was actually hurting pretty bad. We're in the back row, it was a little rougher back there because it's an RMC wooden roller coaster. But, yeah, it's just so much good air time. Oh, let me show you guys Iron Glossy, which is my number one RMC.
my gosh, where did it go? Okay. Here's Iron Glove, you guys. Um, right now, my number one roller coaster after my visit to Cedar Point probably be my number two. I just like air slimes and, you know, steel fin drinks. Okay, here's Iron Glove, you guys. There you go, guys. That is my favorite RMC right now. I am going to get to ride Steel Vengeance this summer. I'm pretty sure I'll like that more. Because, honestly, I feel like Iron Blossy's airtime just isn't as good as other RMCs like Twisted Timbers. But Twisted Timbers doesn't have that speed and, like, lateral forces like Iron Blossy. Iron Blossy is just amazing. I mean, I was, like... I could hardly walk after Iron Glossy. I was shaking up. That drop on Iron Glossy, oh my gosh. That's another reason why it's higher than Twisted Timbers and Lightning Rod, in my opinion. But we're not talking about Iron Glossy only. We're talking about all of them. Every RMC is good. Like, there's no bad RMCs, which every manufacturer has made a bad roller coaster. Like, for example, Aero, I mean, Vacoma has built every single SLC all bad uh and then um b and m vortex carolines and then uh mm, green green lantern or no bruh pretty much every stand-up roller coaster is separate pipeline um uh, and then Mock has built like their wild mouse roller coasters and other roller coasters that are small scale family roller coasters. They're just really janky. Entman has built like Green Lantern, <clears throat> worst roller coaster ever. Uh, but we don't talk about that. And RMC has built no bad roller coasters. That's the only manufacturer that I know of that has not built a bad roller coaster. Like New Texas Giant, their first roller coaster was so good. Like, they haven't built a bad roller coaster. All of them are pretty smooth. And they're not as bumpy as certain roller coasters, but, like, yeah. The RMC is just, like, better. They're just on another level. They're better than every manufacturer. All right, guys, that's it for top five ma coaster manufacturers. Um, hope you like this video. Uh, if you don't want to miss on any more content, just like and subscribe well you don't gotta like but you can if you want just make sure to subscribe if you want to be notified notified it about a new video but yeah all right this is coaches international thanks for watching see you later